What's happening? I'm Corin Nimick, and I am one of the co-creators of The Chosen One. It's a live graffiti competition series that's going to be filmed at Peace Fest on October 13th at Graph Lab. That's on Venice and Union. It's the home of Pico Union Housing Corp, a nonprofit that's helping out inner city youth and low income families. That's part of what our project is doing is generating attention and awareness for this particular nonprofit and for the youth in that area. On this particular uh, episode, we have, uh, we have David Faustino from Mary with Children who's going to be judging. And, and the reason for that is uh, David and I go way back. I've known him since, uh, since the 80s as well. And he's been heavy, heavy into the hip hop scene and, and did a, a, a huge uh, hip hop club called Ballistics back in the day, yeah, which, yeah. Was a, which was an upstart to a lot of rap careers. And, uh, and he used a lot of graffiti art in his advertising and on his, right. you know, all, all, all his flyers and everything like that and has been a big, uh, a big part of that. Uh, that scene and that culture, and uh, and he's uh, just founded a new uh, record company called Old Scratch Records, which uh, which I think is uh, you know it's going to be primarily a hip hop driven you yeah. know record label yeah. with some alternative uh, aspects to it, and I think that that's that's part of what's exciting about having his eye on it. And then uh, uh, Seth Benzer from uh, Crazy Town, yeah. Shifty from Crazy Town, will be one of the judges as well. And you know if you guys don't know it, he's old school from uh, CBS crew back in the day. I mean he's. You know, he was in CBS probably back in '87. Well, he's so. in West Coast too. He's back from West Coast. Oh, he re oh, you guys put him in West Coast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, he was a young damn it! West Coast See, that's what happens day. when you grow up in North Hollywood. You miss out on all the good shit. Back in the day, he was the youngest kid in West Coast. He he, he wrote back. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh man, that's great. So uh, so uh, and then we have uh, also um, uh, a representative from uh, the LA Arts Commission. Um, Peter Mays, who is the executive director of the LA Arts Commission, and he's going to be one of our judges, which is, I think, is really exciting to have, you know, an eye from that right. perspective, a fine yeah. arts perspective as well, you right. know, and, uh, and and so that's that's really exciting to me. Um, I like Seth's, Seth's eye because of, you know, yeah. he comes from the streets, all yeah. of that. He's got, you know, his level of success, but he knows that. And then we have Peter Mays, we have yourself, and then uh, then our brand uh, monster. Will be uh, will be delivering us one of their uh, their X Games folks to come down oh, nice. and uh, yeah yeah come down and check out the uh, the piece and decide uh, decide from a monster perspective if it hits home you know what I mean yeah. for uh, for Monster Energy so what's it, what got you into into graffiti originally? oh wow uh, what got me into graffiti well I used to surf all the time like I surfed nonstop. And uh, I'd sit in class and draw waves and write wipeout and stuff on my desk, you know. Rick Griffin, Rick Griffin fan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, brother. But I'd sit there and draw, you know, these waves with fire for the spray and stuff. And uh, this kid from New York was at my school one day, and he was like, uh, he he just transferred there. He only left like a week. He goes, Yo, what you write? And I was like, I don't know what. He goes, What you write? And I don't know what the, I don't know what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. He kept saying, What you write? And I'm like. Honestly, all kind of stuff, man. Wipeout, uh, Happy Halloween, Merry Christmas, <laughs> all kind of stuff. Because I'm just, I thought he was talking about what I draw on my desk, yeah. you know. And he's just like, wow, man, like your tag. And I'm like, I didn't know what he was talking about. He busts out these photos of trains in New York. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. He was, yeah, that's what you're doing. You know, you got to get a tag name. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm surf. Because I wrote surf everywhere. Right. So that day, I went out and uh, I racked two cans of paint or three or four cans of paint, white and red. Yeah. And I remember just waiting, waiting for it to get dark. And I couldn't even wait for it to get dark. I went to school, <laughs> it was like dusk, and I'm like, ah, it's good enough. And I painted the bungalows. I did this big surf piece. It was totally ugly, but it was just so <laughs> massive. And I was hooked. You know, I just looked out, I was hooked. And I, I think I painted probably every day from that day on for the first, you know, I don't know how many years. Yeah. Like, it was just about, you know, Racking paint during the day, yep. painting at night. You know? oh, yeah. And then, um, you know, right when I started to like actually learn about graffiti and started to get a style and stuff like that, um, I got busted and I had to change my name, and then you know that was it. You know? Right. But uh, yeah, we've all like, gone through that. Yeah, the old yeah. name change, the yeah. curse of the name yeah. change. I thought I was slick. Right? What I did was uh, I was from New Orleans, right? So I had a fake name. It was Cajun. So I wrote that on just a couple little spots so I could get, couldn't get in too much trouble. So yeah. when I came and said, oh, you're surf, I was like, nah, I wish I was. I'm Cajun right here. Right. You know? And that worked for about a week. <laughs> yeah. And then I was busted. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. That's funny, man. I'm, it's it's weird because you're you're from the south too. I'm originally from Arkansas. Yeah. You know, uh, and uh, I was living in Atlanta before I moved to LA, and it's interesting because I had a, a very similar experience. When I was in Atlanta, I was heavy into the breakdancing scene, yeah. and this is like 84, 85. Yeah. And I was really into the breakdancing scene and all of that, so I had a rudimentary uh, understanding of what graffiti art was from Wild Style and from different hip hop albums and stuff. Style but uh, yes, you know, and, and then this this kid again, same same exact thing. This kid moved moved uh, down to Atlanta up from. Uh, from uh, New York, uh -huh. but he was he was jocking scene, and yeah. this is what's such a trip is yeah. that he was busting out these scene drawings and everything like that. And it's interesting because literally within a maybe a, a couple of months of this guy coming to my school, this was Sandy Springs Middle School, uh, the um, the the scene piece that he did on the Hollywood sign made nationwide news. And I remember seeing it on right. the news right. in Atlanta, them saying, you know, graffiti artist, you know, but does the Hollywood sign or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they, and I just remember going, wait, that's the dude that, <laughs> and I was so confused because I didn't know, yeah, yeah. I didn't really understand at that time, you know what I mean, what yeah. it meant, you know what I mean, what uh, somebody having their own tag name. And I had my, my, my breakdancing name, which was yeah. Kid Cruz. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, so I just write my name, my breakdancing name on shit. Yeah. And I'm, a, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I, so I caught my first tag at Sandy Springs Middle School in the bathroom with my little Kid Cruz throw up, you know. Yeah. And then a year later, ended up moving to Los Angeles. And that's when you know that's when things really opened up for me. I started at Walter Reed Junior High and was in school with Spy One Thousand mm -hmm. and Vision. Uh, they were both classmates of mine. Yeah. And so I was sitting in class with them, they're watching them do these burners back in you know eighty five, yeah. eighty six, and was like, oh, it's on. You know, this is exactly what I'm, I'm feeling like. So in eighty six, did my first ugly ass illegal piece. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I still have I have photos of it. It's yeah. it's hideous, but it's it was up. <laughs> Vision was my running partner for a long time. It's Peace Fest, P-I-E-C-E. -E. That's at Peace Fest for your Twitter and Facebook.com forward slash Peace Fest.